Okay, so section 3.7 talks about the derivative of inverse functions. So let f of x be a function that's invertible and differentiable, so it's a uh, one-to-one function, and f inverse of x be the inverse of x of f of x. And I want to find its derivative. Well, it follows this rule that 1 over f prime of f inverse of x that the inverse is 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. Now you might be saying, hey, wouldn't it just be easier to take the derivative of the inverse? And sometimes, yes. Yes, it will. But I want to show you that this works. So let's go ahead and do that with this. Um, let's go ahead and do that with this example, actually. So I'm going to take the derivative of both of these. So I have f of x equals the cube root of x, which is x to the one third, right? So the derivative of this would be I said one third x to the negative two thirds. Now I want to find f inverse of x. Well, I know the derivative of this is going to be three x squared, right? That's a nice and easy inverse, okay? But I want to show you that this formula works. So let's say I take 1 over 1 third x, which is x cubed, to the negative 2 thirds. That's going to give me one over one third x to the negative two. Well, one third divided by one third is three, and one over x to the negative two is x squared. So see, sometimes it's simpler to do it this way, and other times, not so much. Next, I wanna talk about extending the rule to rational exponents. You saw me do an example of that um, when I worked through the example of why inverse functions work. But let's talk about it. So if I have x to the 1 over 10, right, um, that's going to become, again, just like when we started working with negative integers, I multiply my, by my constant by my exponent, and I subtract 1. So the derivative of this becomes 1 tenth x to the negative 9 tenths, because I'm subtracting 1. Here I have my derivative becomes 5 thirds x. Well, 5 thirds minus 1 becomes 2 thirds. So that's how you work through derivatives of rational exponents. Again, the derivative of f of x is 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third. And the derivative of f in this case is 1 seventh x to the negative 6 seventh. Now, why is the derivative of sine, now I want to know what, not why. <laughs> I haven't told you what it is yet. What is the derivative of sine inverse of x? We know if I have f of x is sine x, then f uh, inverse of x is negative sine x. And the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. We need to find the derivative of this. So if I have f inverse prime of x, that's going to be the derivative of sine inverse, not negative sine, sine inverse of x, which is 1 over f prime of sine inverse of x. So I have 1 over, the derivative of sine is cosine, cosine sine inverse of x, right? Now let's take a look at our handy dandy triangle. Here's my theta. If I have 1 here as my hypotenuse, x this side's going to be the square root of 1 minus x squared. 
cosine of theta is one over negative x squared over one. So just the square root of one minus x squared. So the invert derivative of sine inverse of x is one over the square root of one minus x squared. And that's going back to our polar coordinates. You will be given all of the derivatives of trig functions for and their inverses on the exam. So let's work through an example. If I have sine inverse of 2x cubed, right? This we're going to have to use the chain rule. So I've got to plug this in. So we're going to have to use the product rule. So I have the derivative of sine inverse of x with 2x cubed plugged in times the derivative of 2x cubed. So my derivative in this case is 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2x cubed squared times the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared. So that means my derivative is 6x squared over the square root of 1 minus 4x to the 4th, 6th. Now let's go ahead and try this for our second function. I'm going to go ahead and clear what I've already done and change colors. So I have the derivative of f of x is the derivative of the inverse tangent of x squared times the derivative of x squared. So I see here the derivative of the inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So I'm going to have f prime of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared squared times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So my derivative in this case becomes 2x over 1 plus x to the fourth. For this one, we would have to use the product rule, whereas for the other one, we used the, this was using the chain rule examples. This is examples where we use, um, this one's the product rule, and this would be the chain rule again, along with our um, rules for inverse trig functions. So here I have f prime of x equals um, our product rule, which is the derivative of my first term times my second term plus the derivative of my second term times my first term. So here I have f prime of x equals 2x sine inverse of x plus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared times x squared. 